I'm Stephen Axford and I'm a fungi photographer and this is Nightcap National Park in the far north coast of New South Wales. As you can see a fire has been through here. The fire here was called the Mount Nardi fire. This is what's called the black zone which is where the fire has been through actively. So you might ask what is a fungi photographer doing in a burnt out forest. There can be no fungi here, surely. But, strangely enough, one of the first things to recover after a fire is the fungus. This pyrophyllus or fire-loving fungus is an orange pyronema species and it's spreading across the ground like a soft crust on the surface. These fungi come up a week or two after the fire and this one is growing where the fire was at its hottest along the ash bed of a burnt log. It's quite interesting because it tends to hold the soil together and each place we find it the soil seems to be wetter. So if I dig some of this fungus up here you can see that it's holding the soil together at the top. And down below, it actually feels reasonably moist. This is like the orange fungus, but it's pink. It's spreading across the ground at the base of this tree, which has been burnt. So the, the bark has been burnt, has fallen off in a fine layer around the edge and this fungus has grown on the charcoal, which is an unusual place for fungus to grow. When a fire goes through a forest like this, it heats the soil up in the, the upper layers. So when it gets above about 60 degrees, it effectively sterilizes the soil. So all life, all active life is killed from the soil. But some mushrooms survive quite well because their spores survive and then they grow very quickly after the fire because there's no competition and forms a mat of mycelium which stops the soil eroding. Mycelium is the body of the fungus, similar to tree roots, only much, much, much finer. So the fungus potentially plays an extremely useful role in the rehabilitation of the forest after the fire. Ah, now that's what I've been looking for. This is called a stonemaker fungus, which comes up very quickly after the fires have finished. Talking to the local people here, they come up a few days after the fire, so the fire's almost still going by the time they come up. It's called a stonemaker fungus because it grows off what looks like a stone, which is actually a mass of mycelium, which is how it survives the fire. There's so many different fungi and they can fill so many different ecological niches that this one manages to fill a niche that isn't there except when there's fire. How cool is that? It's been about five weeks since the fire went through this area, though there are still burning logs over there. We've been coming up regularly to see what sort of fungi comes up. Oh, there's something. The pyrophyllus fungi that loves to come up after fires. And we found a new one here. It's a creamy white and has gills like a normal field mushroom would. But it's definitely growing in the ash and it prefers, it seems to prefer the track of an old log that has burnt. There might have been a log that was this high that's just burnt down to charcoal. So the ground underneath will have been totally sterilized down to a certain depth. And these mushrooms are growing. Now this is a perfect example to show what these mushrooms are like. 
there's all the mycelium growing and the little mushrooms coming up. It's really quite a beautiful little environment. The mycelium will have come into the sterilised soil. No competition, nothing else would grow there and occupied that very quickly and then produced fruiting bodies. But they're all over. You go through and you clear away leaf litter. Like here, I just started clearing away the leaf litter and it's full of mushrooms. Now we'll have to go back and find out from some of our expert friends what these mushrooms actually are because they're new to me. I haven't actually seen them before. This is our third trip to the Mount Nardi fire ground and it's seven weeks since a bushfire came through here. Two days ago, we had about 40 millimetres of rain, so we're keen to find out if there's anything new. There are signs that the forest is starting to repair itself with new growth, insects in the soil. The cicadas are almost deafening. Well, there's something here and there's some different looking fungi starting to appear. Looks as though it might be tiny little cups. They're concave dishes, sort of like a satellite dish. And they're a particular type of mushroom called ascomycetes. And instead of dropping spores from the bottom of the mushroom, the spores come from the cup. And often with cup fungus, if you blow on them, you'll find a puff of spores come out. Now here's something that's different. That's a brightly coloured fungus. Hard to miss. Not sure what that is. It's powdery on top and it's quite a bright orange. And I love colour. That's what attracted me to fungus in the first place, was the brilliant colours. I'll try and get some good photographs of it and then maybe we'll be able to find someone who can identify it for us. You can see the mycelium here and it's yellow mycelium. This fungus is actually just growing directly from mycelium, as you can see, heavily entangled with roots. Perhaps it's a my ectomycorrhizal fungi. Ectomycorrhizal fungus grow in a mutualistic relationship with trees. So they attach to the roots of trees and infiltrate the soil so get nutrients and water from the soil which they provide to the tree and the tree provides the fungus with sugars. Now this has obviously grown in the time since the fire because all of this top layer of soil would have been sterilised but that's clearly not sterilised is it? <laughs> I come to these forests all the time and now we've got fire and there's a complete new range of fungus that come up. Ones that I've never seen before and will possibly never see again unless there's fire. When we're heading into a time when there's likely to be more fires, it's probably very important to understand how the mushrooms help the forest regenerate and this fungi fairly clearly is quite important in the regeneration of the forest after fire. 